Hey, Tony here. So today I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video. Um, I did come across a video that I did 10 years ago, back when I first started YouTube, and I started showing my face on camera. Very awkward video. Hopefully you don't feel too uncomfortable watching it. Um, as uncomfortable as I am when I watch it. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of an updated video, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey, Tony the Toy Collector here. Hold up. Who, who did you say you were? Did you say Toy Collector? And I got a question. Why do you not have a cap on? Do you want people to see that you're going bald? Um, I received a package today. Um, I don't believe I'm expecting anything. I'm kind of curious as to what this is. Um, I don't recognize the name from the address that it was sent from. And also, why are you talking so slow? You know, people are going to probably give you a hard time for talking too slow. You may want to speed up your videos a little bit faster. So this will be a surprise. Kind of going a little bit slow opening that package up, don't you think? And it is for the Evil Dead still book. Goodness, it got here pretty quick, too. I, I think I just got this the other day. But anyways, this is for the Evil Dead still book. Looks very sharp. I think most of you have probably already seen this before. Now, if you're thinking that everybody's already seen this before, why aren't you even doing a video for it? I don't understand. Um, there's the spine. I'm going to tell you right now, people are going to give you a hard time if you show the spine and really don't show it. And the back. You do know nobody can really see that very well. I think you need to quit using your webcam and try to get a nicer camera. Over two and a half hours of spine tingling special features. Um, I do not have this edition. Of course, I don't have the still book. But I don't believe I have this Blu-ray edition either, so I'm very excited to have this. It looks really, really sharp. And by the way, don't use really, really sharp as the term to describe a still book. Maybe just say that it's nice. Um, and like I said, here's the special features. Um, it's kind of got a glare on it. Let's see if I can get it to, to focus in. Now you do realize people cannot read what that says. It might be better if you hold it up a little bit closer to the camera. I think there's too much of a glare, but anyway, it says um, it also includes all new commentary by writer director Sam. And hey, don't even think about reading the back of that still book. People don't want to hear you read off what's on the J card. So, anyways, it looks like a really nice set. I'm very glad to have this in my collection. Now, don't get too excited. People are going to really make fun of you. Maybe you should just do a little bit better job of unwrapping your still books. Maybe give them a little bit more of what they want to see so that they can actually know what they're going to be purchasing. So yes, let me know what you think about it. And then maybe start off your videos by telling people who you are and what you're fixing to show them. Something like, hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do an unwrapping of the Blu-ray still book for The Evil Dead. So stick around. Now you want to make sure that you tell them to stick around because if you don't tell them that, they may go ahead and select the next video. You may also want to let them know that you're going to unwrap the still book and not unbox it since you don't actually have a box. Well, actually, you did have a box in your hand, didn't you? Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you can go ahead and unwrap it off camera so that they don't have to see you fumble through trying to take the wrapper off because we know how difficult that can be for some people. Now, once you have the wrapper off and the J-card removed, let the people know that that's what they were seeing on the camera, like they can't already tell that the wrapper's gone. And also, be sure that they get a really good look at what the still book looks like, and describe that this is the front, and that this is the back, just in case they didn't realize that. And maybe even open it up and show them what the front and back looks like. And if you really think it's a nice looking still book or not. Then you can proceed by letting them know if there's a digital code included. And also, they're going to really want to see the disc, so be sure that they can see what the disc looks like. And one key thing that some of the collectors really like to know is if there's any inside artwork and what you think about it. Now, there's always going to be a glare on the inside of the still book, so don't let that distract you. And then overall, just let them know what you think about it, which I really think this one looks really, really nice. 
Now just remember, don't use the word sharp. Now when you're done with the video itself, be sure that they know that you put it in a clear plastic bag to help keep it protected from getting scratched up on the shelf. And also let them know what you actually think about the movie and what you think about this steelbook release. Now one thing that you do not want to do is you don't want to use some kind of generic scrolling thank you for watching, please like, subscribe. Won't you say that in a way that might be a little bit more memorable like if you like what you saw here today please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have those linked down below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time. See, that wasn't so hard, now was it? And by the way, please just cheer up. You're going to be alive in 10 years, and you're going to have a really, really nice collection.